Today we talk about the Duesenberg star player TV, Mike Campbell. Hey, James G here with Tarpley Music in Fort Worth, Texas. But if you need to, please, you can find us online at tarpleymusic.com for all your ordering needs for gear. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, just hit that button right there. Subscribe. That would help us out a lot. So uh, this is a Mike Campbell signature model by Duesenberg. Uh, if you're not familiar with the name, you definitely know who Mike Campbell is. He spent almost 50 years with Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, was with Tom from pretty much the beginning when the band crashed and then they reformed as the Heartbreakers later. And uh, he's done, uh, he did a tour with Fleetwood Mac 2018 to 2019. He is one of Rolling Stone's top 100 guitarists sitting at number 79. And if you go look Wikipedia or anywhere else and you look at his line of session work, it's ridiculous. He's played with everybody. Really great uh, player. And he's got that philosophy, much like mine, where he really wants to play the part that makes sense to the song and what it needs and not so much worried about being a virtuoso, which I definitely am not either. Just a working player, want to play the right part. So I, uh, Mike's great, and he's had uh, other projects you should go listen to. It's got a lot of that old, you know, uh, the kinks, the 60s rock style guitar stuff. Um, but anyway, in the 2008 Super Bowl halftime, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers were playing, and a lot of the Western world over here saw for the first time a Duesenberg star player TV. And even as Duesenberg says on their website, he's been good friends ever since. Um, so it makes sense um, that that's a big venue. People are like, what is that? Because the guitars definitely have a wow factor to them, but not just in look, they really do in playing. Uh, so let's talk, this is basically a star player TV, which is their most popular model with this particular color with the ra uh, white racing stripes. Um, so star player TV, let's talk about it. Uh, this is the metallic light blue is what they call it. Of course, this is a it's a semi hollow and it's got a solid block right here. And it is a spruce top and they're maple back and sides, which is a really great and different combination of woods for a guitar like this. Um, and it is uh, usually uh, flamed maple, of course, depending on the color and things like that. One piece maple neck it has a medium D shape to it, which is extremely comfortable for my hand. Of course, you don't know until you play it, right? But it's usually a pretty versatile neck for all types of hands. Uh, it does have a dual action truss rod. This is a Indian rosewood fretboard, 12 inch radius. So right in the middle there, the scale length from uh, the bridge to the nuts, 25.5, which is very standard. So uh, as far as that type of length, it'll feel like uh, your less polished strats and stuff. They're usually that 25 to 25 and a half. Uh, this pick guard is actually nickel, so all the hardware is actually nickel, so it will kind of fade o over in a little time to give it more of an aged look. And uh, if you want to keep it sp sprucey, there's a way to do that with nickel, but it, to me, I love that vibe of it as it kind of ages with you uh, and the guitar. And now, the nut is interesting because I, I looked up a lot. I thought maybe it was a white tusk or a corian or something like that. And they really don't list what it is. A couple of sites have listed bone. But as I researched an actual Duesenberg replying to people as they've asked, they basically said it's a blend of their own materials, um, and which it's almost like self-lubricating in a sense, And uh, but it's easy to work with and gets a lot of sustain out of that. So it probably is something else that they mix. They, you know, it's the Coca-Cola recipe they don't want to give out. I don't know, but uh, that's all the research when I found that's what I'd come up with. And that's straight from Duesenberg. So whatever it is, works. It's incredibly, uh, there's a lot of sustain in these guitars and rock solid tuning. Um, and now all these guitars of Duesenberg have been plecked. And what the pleck machine is, is essentially it's a machine that measures uh, the height of every single fret. Because a lot of times when you're not holding much tune, maybe a more, you know, an inexpensive guitar and it's, it's bending out of tune, it's real buzzy and stuff, it's probably because the frets are not perfectly in line. So the Pleck machine measures it down to one one hundredth of a millimeter. Yes. One one hundredth of a milliliter. We were discussing earlier, is that a number? Like, <laughs> so it's incredibly accurate. That's why you get such a fast, low action on these guitars and they're killer. And of course, the pickups themselves, amazing. So the star player does 
a combination of uh, two pickups. It has a Domino P90, which my favorite pickups in the world are P90s, just a, a scorcher of a, a single coil here. And then this, they call the Grand Vintage Humbucker, so your big, full, huge humbucker sounds. Now, in the middle position of a Duesenberg, they actually have special wiring uh, where it basically takes out some of the lows in your low, and it gives us this kind of a, a, a funky open kind of sound in the middle position. So it's very unique to that. Just amazing instruments. I'm really excited to be able to just play uh, some clean and some overdrive tones with you. We're going to rock out in a, in a mix, in a band mix at the end of it. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so for this demo, I'm going through a Fender Deluxe Reverb amp, and I'm miking it with a Sennheiser E906, so slightly off cone, so we should get a really good full sound, and but not all the punch. Personal preference, it's a whole nother conversation. Um, and so I've got a uh, bass and treble sitting at about seven, and uh, we're going to go through these. So now the I have an overall volume and overall tone. That's the only knob control here that I have on the guitar, so I'm going to keep them both wide open. And of course, you can adjust from there. So here is the P90 or the neck pickup by itself. Okay, so now I'm going to the middle position. Like I said, that's both of them, except there's some special wiring to take some lows out of the humbucker. definitely hear this really mid kind of punchy uh funky sound there and but not over low so if i want to get all that humbucker i just go here so now i'm in the bridge pickup humbucker by itself all right so moving along now i'm going through the sunset strymon just set on, you know, just your basic overdrive, uh, kind of an American overdrive. I'm going to do the same thing again in the same order. So here's the P90 by itself, overdriven. And then a middle position with both. And the the treble or the bridge uh, pumbucker by itself. Such a killer humbucker sound. Uh, and then of course the vibrato system, uh, great for easy restringing. And this actually is a 360 bar, so you can move it to whatever tilt. Uh, that you like. It's extremely comfortable. You can get it out of the way, uh, but you can easily do great uh, bends and swells with it and not have to worry about going out of tune. All right, so we've heard all these great tones with this guitar on its own. I want to hear what it'll sound like in a really rock and mix with some tracks I did earlier today. All right, let's hit it, boys. <laughs> pleasure of doing a lot of reviews on Duesenbergs here with Tarpley. Um, it's so great that we get to carry these guitars because not everyone gets to. So the fact that you have a local store that can carry these high-end guitars is amazing. I'm never, never disappointed. 
I get the question all the time, are they really worth that kind of money? Yeah, I absolutely, I think they are. Um, and I don't say that about every high-end guitar, but I've never picked up a Duesenberg and went, eh. But I've done that with some other, you know, two or $3,000 guitars. That's just the truth of that. Um, and it could be just personal preference and personal feel. That's the beauty of music. That's the beauty of instruments. Um, and that's why I'm glad that we have so many that we carry. But if you've never picked up a Duesenberg, you need to. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of customers for this. It's people who really like, uh, you know, a different style of high-end guitar. It's Mike Campbell fans. It's people who um, play any style. I can easily get any tone out of this that I need uh, through jazz or rock or anything else. And uh, as I do a lot of these, there's a lot of in the mixes that I have to kind of write the day of and stuff. So I, I like to just stylistically move it all around. The truth is, is I could do any style with this. Um, and so it was just kind of fun to do the one uh, I did for this one, but they're incredibly, uh, incredibly easy to play in the sense of feel like it's just buttery smooth. It's such a velvety sounding guitar. The Domino P90s, I just it just screeches. I just love it. Um, so if you uh, haven't looked up Duesenberg or ever played one, you really need to head down to Tarpley. We've got several here, uh, Star Player TVs, and then we do have a few of their other models. They're all killer. Uh, like I said, this is just their most well-known and, and best seller. Um, but even with the other models, I've never been disappointed when I picked them up. So hope you enjoyed this. Got some interest in um, the guitar or the brand itself. And of course, uh, make sure you hit like if you did enjoy this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, please. I'm just a wonderful thing that you can do for us. Very, very simple. And uh, if you'd like to know as we drop more videos, we are constantly dropping videos, constantly filming, dropping every single week. Uh, then you just uh, turn on the notifications there and uh, we will see you on the next one. Yeah.